Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Toffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome to the uh, coffee mug tutorials. Today what I want to go over is sort of a follow-up on the uh, 30th coffee mug tutorial uh, regarding bank reconciliations. Uh, actually during that uh, tutorial I was booking uh, or posting a bank account reconciliation and I put in an adjustment entry and I put it on the wrong date. Uh, so it was a typical user mistake uh, which can happen in any system. And so what I wanted to go over in this tutorial, which is really, really, really important, is how to lock the user out from posting incorrect dates. So NAV uh, has a number of ways to do that. Now, just to go over the mistake that happened, um, uh, in the Chase Manhattan Bank, if I go into the ledger entries, I booked a transaction here uh, in 2007. It was supposed to be 2017, but I'm sure people that um, have pretty particular eyes noticed that I forgot to put 17 instead of uh, 7, which I put, and I actually booked it, and I could, I could book it into 2007, which is, of course, fatal um, for any accounting. Um, so how do we set up the system so that a user cannot make this mistake? Well, it's, uh, there's a couple of ways in NAV to manage this, and I'm going to show you both. Now, first way is if I go into the general ledger setup here, uh, I have two fields that say allow posting from and allow posting to. Right now they're not set, which means that people can post potentially anywhere in whatever date that uh, they want to in the system. Now, they are not allowed to post into a closed year. However, if there is no year defined for what the date is, like 2007, I don't even have a year for that, it allows it to post. So this is really important in NAV. NAV is very flexible, but at the same time, um, you have to set in all the right guards. So here I'm going to put in 010117 to 123117. And actually, um, I'm going to do a little bit better than that. I will actually only allow people to post into the current month that I'm in, which is March 17. So 030117 to 033117. Now I've locked out that month. Now some people that, um, especially like the accounting managers, um, should be allowed to post maybe anywhere in the year 17, but uh, everybody else should be only allowed to post into March of 17. So how do I set that up? Well, if I leave this and I go into the user setup, right here. I see the two users that I have in the system, demo and demo2, are also allowed to post wherever they want. Now, if nothing is specified here, then the general ledger setup prevails. Now, however, if anything is set up here, then that supersedes the general ledger setup. So if I leave this empty, the general ledger setup works. If I put anything in here, then that overrides the general ledger setup. So that's important to know. Uh, in this case, demo2 is a normal user, so I'm not going to put anything here uh, because I want that to be governed by the general ledger setup. However, the demo user is a super user, a county user, and I'm going to allow the demo user to post anywhere 
in 2017. Now this could be a quarter, it's a little radical to give all year, um, but since I'm demoing, uh, uh, I want to be able to post anywhere as demo. And this one is locked into just March, because I put nothing in. Now be really, really careful. If you, and I've seen mistakes like this, if I put in just one date like this, I'll allow him to post until 12.31.2017, that means that I'm overriding the general ledger setup and I'm allowing demo2 to post all the way down to the beginning of time until 2017. So these I've seen these issues set up. So definitely don't put anything if you want it governed by the GL setup. Otherwise restrict it straight here both both periods. Okay, so we'll leave it like this. And now, for example, if I try to post anything uh, into 2007, like I just did, right now I'm going to go ahead and try that with a simple um, general ledger transaction. So I just go into general journal, and I'm going to put the posting date on 01-01-2007. And I'm going to just move a reclass between cache and and let's say I'm putting a thousand dollars into another account, balancing account, something that allows direct posting. Let's say the bonds. Notice I want this posting to fail because it's outside my range, 0101 2007. So I'll go ahead and post. And yes, and now I get this error. And this is exactly what we want. Um, so this is really, really important when you're setting up users in an AV. Uh, and as seen in previous video, I was able to make a mistake that you don't want any one of your users to make. Uh, and I hope that was very instructive uh, and definitely set that up in your system if you don't have it right now. Thank you.